today's lunchies munchies. Oh, I'm sorry, the vapor just hurt me. <laughs> oh my god, this is hot. So it's um, I'm not sure. Anyway, instant noodles. Steam is powerful. Steamy stuff. Oh yeah, are you here in the background because Let's just say I'm not a pro YouTuber and I hate talking in the silence, so I have to have something going in the background. And at the moment, it's Kung Fu Panda, the latest one, number three. I don't know. I haven't seen the two first ones, so please don't judge me or kill me or whatever. So now, on to. Oh, it's that little Naruto thingy. And I'm guessing this is like pork. What? This bit here? Delicious. Mm. Oh, the steam is strong. Oh, yeah. Well, some people are masters of tea and master of mistress of noodles. I love ramen noodles. And I know they're like not exactly the best stuff for your health because of all the sodium and stuff. But oh, I could just freaking die for this. No, actually, I would kill for this. <laughs> Sorry, wrong expression or wrong spectrum of the same action. Oh, yum yum. Um, So I'm finally home from my uh, noodles, uh, from my day out. This is isn't this amazing when you uh, like. So I, I'm not apologizing, but putting in context, I do try to look cute for a YouTube video, and since I'm such a pro vlogger, it looks like. And I don't want to tie my hair because then I look completely different and boring and yeah. So let's try that. Enjoy the hair. Uh, what am I to say? So yeah. I ordered it. Too bigly wiggly. It's my best friend, baby, and King Jong Hyun homage bracelet. Mostly by Sufil, like Jong Hyun's and. Uh, my best is is by pretty much AliExpress and uh, two weeks by that well. So anyway, oh, I want you here. I said in previous bit, which will probably use if I if I find a good app to mix bits as a video and I put them as a one thing without PC, which I hope. Let's pray the App Store got or admins or whatever Kung Fu Panda I think it's the third I haven't seen the first two I'm not sure it's why he finds his father and he's a dragon master and she yeah I need to get updated on this eventually so I originally came this is my third trip to Korea and I originally came to get a tattoo and go to Namsan Tower, get teddy bears, no those. Okay, so at Namsan Tower, they sell souvenir teddy bears with the um, I'm trying to fix my phone <laughs> to get the right angle. Is that it's amazing? Pro YouTuber. Um, so yeah, to get the such a tiny charm 
yourself on Chomti. We have each day of the month. Uh, I wanted to get for my family, my best friend's family, and my son. And I want to give up the office. But, uh, so I went in Korea. Everything was fine. Delta. Okay, if you have to fly anywhere in the freaking universe, fly Delta. They're just amazing. The flight went absolutely superb. I went in Korea and then I want to take out money from the ATM machine. I'm on gate uh, 7. At the same time, I also need a SIM card. You know, to make calls and text and shit. So, uh, we try at the counter for a SIM card. My, uh, my card passes. I sign. That's good. I also bought two t-shirts at Detroit. That was super fun. It's awesome. I want to do the machine. It doesn't work. There's one lady before me. Hers doesn't work either. So I sort of assume that that machine doesn't take for rain cars. So I go to the tourist information box. Box. Desk. I'm sorry. I ask for the girl at the desk and she says to try the machine at gate number four and number two. I walk over there, it doesn't work. Isn't that amazing? Number four doesn't work, so I have a last one for number two, but I'm pretty crushed at this point. Number two doesn't work. Isn't that fascinatingly amazing? They are so, like, since they wanted to kill someone at the point. And if I hadn't have spare money from my last trip, because this is my third, one, two, three, I had um, 70. I'm still trying to find a good angle. Um, I guess I have to apologize at this point because I'm being super rude and super freaking immature and new to this. So if I didn't have money from my previous trip, I would be basically stranded at Incheon Airport because RBC's protection bullshit crap. I don't, I don't know if it's them or Visa, but. They didn't let me take out money at the ATM machine, so I was basically without money. If I didn't have my spare money from previous trip, I would be fucked, basically. And if you excuse me, I'm gonna... Mm. Yeah, this is... Mm, this works. Mm, this is the pork one. Oh, I think I'm gonna get like two more of these, two more but, oh. This is so good. Yesterday I had the um, no shin black with the beef, spicy beef. Pretty good, but this stuff is like amazing. Mm. The noodles are. Sorry. <laughs> Pro YouTuber. To go, to go to my favorite. Um, Tanemojo, so yeah, this is out of focus, I guess. But yeah, anyway, the, the noodles themselves are pretty thick and chewy and super freaking good. And yeah, let's be freaking. I'm not sponsored, but Nongshim, if you want to sponsor me, please go ahead. I love your stuff in Canada and even more in Korea. So, back to my story. And I see it's already six minutes past, so this is gonna be a long ass shit and I have to um, eventually stitch together and figure out. Oh my god, the number thing is everything. So basically, um, I take out money, I go to the. In well, at this point, it's like eight past, almost nine, if not nine past, I'm not sure anymore. Uh, so I go to the um, the boat. Um, don't like say it's something like like a, like a machine boat thingy where you select um, where you wanna go, and according to your station you have to pay whatever the machine tells you. So I go from Incheon Airport to Hongik University. It was uh, four. Or like four thousand five hundred, which is basically four fifty. 
Oh, so good. So we take the train. We arrive at Seoul, Holy University. Everything's peachy. I get home just fine. And at this point, um, this time around, I had booked a different guest house from my previous one. The previous one was uh, B Guest House in Hongdae. This is GG Guest House in Mapugo. Like Mapugo is the the bigger area, and Hongdae is like a smaller section of that. If you get like Mapugo, Hongdae, get it. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to attempt to get lost myself. So basically, I just called a taxi. I don't know, call taxi or like just say no taxi and I was lucky there was one hitchy the um, orange cabs which are the national not national but you know how New York have the the yellow taxi cabby cars well Seoul has the orange hitchy which is a medical creature that official line of taxis I saw one stop at the street corner where I was standing couple get out I shove my stuff in and let's go driver I'm gonna pause this because I have like 16 seconds left. So then, part two. <laughs> I shove my two bags in the back seat. I hop in the front, like the front seat. I get my paper wrap to give to the driver. This is where I'm going. Can you help me? So apparently, I was on the on, on this side and the direction was on this side so they had to make like a whole u-turn but it was peachy like the whole ride from Hongi university and i'm not sure which exit i took but from there to my guest house was basically uh four three or four bucks i gave him a ten dollar because i was just so freaking happy that i arrived at my location then we had another small problem <laughs> because yeah when you decide to go adventure and new stuff and new neighborhood and blah 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 new guest house big so in big guest house in home game you have a flight of stairs you go up there's the counter the check-in guys you check in you pay cash and they show you home at GG Guest House, I booked my thing in Montreal, I paid me my visa, everything was paid, clear, and I just need to come and check, out, check in. The thing is, and I'm gonna show a video later, but this is almost like a whole apartment. Yeah. So, I wasn't sure how I'm supposed to like <laughs> check in. So I take with my paper and I look for the 24-7 um, help service number. I dial them, of course they speak Korean, I speak English and I'm trying to, um, as best as I could, to explain hi, I'm Emilia, I'm checking in. Because technically, according to uh, it's a little thingy, you check in at 1pm, you check it at 11am. It's impossible for me to check in at, at 1 p.m. because so my flight left from Montreal to Detroit at noon 30 ish, landed at 1 30 or near 2. 
then my Tonin from Detroit to Seoul left at 3 or 3 30 ish. I landed in Seoul at 6 ish. And then I give you not the, the line for customs. There was literally 10 like squiggly, and each little section had like 20 people, if not more. It was insane. Like, I think I wasted at least an hour there, and then wasted some time getting the SIM card, and then wasted time going on getting trying to get money at the ATM. So I basically, it was 10 o'clock when I had to, when I came here to check in. Yeah, this is so good. Seriously, if you can get this, this thingy, this is delicious. Mm. And the whole purpose of my trip was to get up to the other because I already have two. So this one would have been a blue nine tail fox. Yes, this is a nipple. Deal with it. So the head and the paw would go here and the nine tails about like a bit over somewhere in here. But since I couldn't take out money from the freaking ATM machine, no money, it was not at all. Isn't this amazing? Um, I thought that since because uh, my card wasn't exactly empty, I thought maybe that the 700 one that I was trying to get was a bit too much for my card limit. So as soon as I checked in, I went on now the my bank's website and I paid my previous week's sorry <laughs> uh, the summer the the summary on my card and then one thousand for my savings and then I did a trades. And the next morning, or next day, I paid another 1000 for my savings, so it was like cleared completely. And then I read that it takes three freaking days for my visa to show that I paid. But my bank account shows the withdrawal like two seconds later. Thank you so very much for being accurate. Um, so. I arrived, so I left my show Thursday, I arrived until Friday, uh, so, was it my evening? Oh yeah, on the 8th I was supposed to go to Namsan Town and it didn't work, that was on a Sunday, uh, Saturday, sorry, Saturday. Uh, Sunday, my friend Tesu and his wife and three sons took me to the Korean War Memorial, which was absolutely freaking amazing. If you okay, so if you love Korea and Korean culture, it's a must. I mean, it's part of their story, it's just a must. Like, you have to go there. The, um, they have like huge planes, small planes from the Second World War and the warships and the expositions, the weapons, the, the whole history from way back then when the Chinese and the Japanese wanted to conquer them and even freaking USA and France wanted Korean land so it's like, like seriously people just want this place but it's all exposed, it's all super neat and so detailed, it's amazing. Uh, that was Sunday, then Mon... Hmm. Anyway, so, yeah, was it Monday? Or when was it? Because my... Technically, my tattoo was on the night, so maybe this happened the day after. Yeah, Friday was the 8th, Saturday was the 9th, which was my tattoo appointment, and Sunday was the 10th, which was this day. So on the 9th, 
um, because I had go I had switched on my tablet for um, whatever I could take out money. Visa website says Citibank. Citibank doesn't work, and they give specific locations, and those locations locations are like way the fuck out. Like I don't need. Like I would need to take a train to get there and then get lost and oh and this is amazing. Visa is a website. When they say the list of the needs, get direction links. The get direction links is just beautiful blue bold letters. Empty. Absolutely no link. And with Google, Google Maps, epic fail. Like seriously, I don't know how the hell those Google. Tell me one thing. Who's in charge of doing the map algorithms and calculations because it sucks. Like, I don't know who's in charge, but even from my guest house to a steak restaurant that was, you know, on, like, the main boulevard on where all the Hong Kong University station exits are, it basically said, cannot calculate route. Like seriously, what sort of a big ass corporation you are if you cannot calculate a five minute walk in the most touristic side of Seoul? Seriously, just explain me that, please. So then, um, the city bank. ATM doesn't work. The next one, which had the marking Visa Plus, because Visa said when you see Visa Plus logo ATM, you can take out. Yeah, right, it doesn't work at all. I, I don't know if. You know what? I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go. It just absolutely failed me. From the first thing, the two previous years, I when I had to either call, like the first year I had to call them and say that I was going to Seoul, and it worked at each and airport, I could take out money. The second time it was online, I said my dates and my location, and I landed and I could take out money. This time around, I just had to buy traveler's insurance, which I did. I specified the dates, then didn't ask where I was going. And it didn't work and this absolutely fascinates because my bank knows from my credit card history that I always go to freaking South Korea to Seoul at this specific time frame of the month of the year so last year was like sort of end of April but it's always April always April always South Korea always Seoul how can they not figure it out that would be going again this year like seriously how Please explain me. And so, since those two machines failed, I had to cancel my tattoo and I was pretty bummed. And um, funny, funny thing, interesting, a funny thing actually, the night before at 3 a.m., I just randomly woke up from a dream or whatever and I just had to cry. Like, I had this need to cry in the middle of the night and I had the same thing the first time when I came here for my tattoo but in that instance I woke up at like midnight with a strong bad feeling in my heart and I got a little message from my friend, my contact was the translator between me and the tattoo shop owner and she said to me that the tattoo shop owner with whom I thought that I was booking my appointment is not a tattoo artist himself, he's only the owner and I was like Okay, I know. Well, it's a bit odd because I wanted to, like, the whole. I had sort of found a mythology from my whole tattoo experience in another video. But that didn't mind. That means he's still the owner. He has, like, crew members or tattoo artists or whatever. And I wasn't as bad, but this time I actually cried because I assumed that I sensed that it wouldn't work. And it was just a gripping feeling but I'm hoping that since it didn't work this year it might be better next year because yes I'm coming back I want that tattoo mm. Mm. I 
almost missed a little, little too, didn't you? Come here, you. Ugh, come on. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna catch that little wave thingy later. So then, those two machines didn't work, so I had to cancel my appointments. I was pretty bummed. I uh, was pretty broken, actually. Um, I didn't really want to log out, to log in on Facebook, and I was just gonna make this is shit. I'm gonna stay in my room and cry. Which is me. But I was so. Apathic, lazy, sad, disappointed, wrecked, emotionally dead, that I could have didn't cry. I was just like moping around under my duvet and not doing shit because I, I couldn't even feel sad at that point. It was just like, you killed my hope, you killed my dream, you killed my trip, you ruined my vacation. Thank you so very much. Um, kill. So yeah, if you if you ever if you're an RBC client with a Visa card, I don't know. Try get your money before you leave your country of origin, which in this case would be Canada, because I don't know if RBC has branches elsewhere, because it's the Royal Bank of Canada. Please, for the love of Christ, if you go abroad, like in another country, get your currency in Canada because you can't trust these fuckers anymore. Mm -hmm. Um so then some someday this will took me up to the World Memorial which was absolutely amazing. I cannot repeat this enough. Um next day oh yeah and this is so funny because so Tissu doesn't live in Seoul and not to get him lost or not to get myself lost I asked him if you can meet at a specific uh, location which is that weird building I'm gonna give me two seconds Okay, so that place is called the Sang Sang Madame building. It's the um, I think it's like an art museum, movie theater, exposition hall. It's I think it's weird. I'll give, you can miss it. It's one of those landmarks in Hong Kong. Let's just say that. So we meet there, and I walk up there. And so we go, we walk, because I, I come from the, um, that main boulevard, I'm so bad, and so I walk up to that building on one side, we meet, and he actually goes, I come from this side, and there's, we meet at this corner, and we go down on the other side, it was so funny actually, um, because the restaurant he wanted to take me to, uh, VI IVPS or VIPS, a steakhouse. I'll ship you not. It's basically on the same main boulevard where it's just hilarious. And I tried to Google map my location, my guest house, which is guest house to VIPS. It's basically like a not even a 10 minute walk if you have good shoes. But maximum 10 minute walk and google maps couldn't freaking figure that out like how i'm done from it got my little naruto thingy oh he escaped more Basically, a little spiral thing.
so yeah so that was pretty cool and then the oh and while we were here while and while while we were walking down because i came here there's a building we're walking on this side i'm gonna get in a discussion below the the whole street names and shit i saw um like many boutiques and was cool and of course there was like one boutique which had the shiny poster cut out char characters band members i was like oh my god so i had to and i promised myself to like go back and take a selfie and because yeah k-pop K-pop, shiny, and joking on the reason why I came here like three times, basically. And this will take a picture of me with my beloved Nikon Coolpix L840, which is an amazing camera. Seriously, if you ever need just one tourist camera, get this thing. It's amazing. So we walked past that thingy. This will take a picture with my camera, but I wanted like a standard selfie because well, why not be a complete typical tourist full blown 100 percent Yo. Um yesterday I went back but I didn't in honesty I didn't have the courage. That's the whole story. I felt a little like ugh, too too cheesy, too classy, too whatever. No. Um, and I was feel still feeling pretty bummed with my home adventure with the, the ATM machine. I'm still not still not apologizing for this, by the way. to get the fool behind. Oh, this end. One second. So. Oh, this is so good. Um, that's coffee and I have a glass of water because we have fluids in those things. to sell you again. So yesterday, where did I go? I should have just walked around, walked up on holiday. Well, that specific road to me. I got those two, um, I'm not sure if they're purse charms, I'm guessing, or sample charms. They're pretty big for sample charms. Those things, and which I made a video review yesterday while watching Deadpool, which was Someone please explain to me why it's a poor so freaking popular because it's atrociously boring. Like just the language is amazing, that mucho mucho, but it's basically boring. I don't know. I'm not feeling the hype. Um, but I didn't have the courage to take that selfie with the cutout because so many freaking people. Yesterday I left at 12 ish. So I landed there in the middle of the day of the action of the angle. Yes. Okay. So in the middle of the hype, the happening, the. Yeah. Too many people, and I didn't want to be a complete. Typical white tourist girl who's come here obviously because of K pop, even if that's the truth. Mm. Something chewy. Um, I'm not sure what these are. These are? They're pretty good. Oh, 
אני אגיד לרוץ אותי מי? אני רוצה לקרוא זום, עד שאני רואה. יס, אני אתן זום. Now we're putting these. I don't know how I can name, but yeah. Uh, oh, come on. Sorry for this. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm using a OnePlus One. Oh, I need to put my hand from the camera. I walked around on the um, on our street and just walked around and had fun. Today I had more, well, and I came in, came home earlier, so I had built up the courage to go back today and take that little like, selfie. And I also wanted absolutely to go back to King Gongming's shrine in Mapugo, which was absolutely didn't deceive me the flower. So near the top. There is that one sakura tree with those big pink flowers and I kid you not, they are too freaking die for it. It's amazing. I have shot as more like I have shot a couple of couple <laughs> couple hundred photos, a few videos and one little selfie talking video. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. It looks like you can't even see it, but uh, whatever. So then today I woke. Well, see, yesterday I went to bed at like four ish. About. So I slept from four to nine and then. Open up Facebook and stuff. And today I woke up super ready and excited and in shape and motivated. This uncle is absolutely kidding me. So, and I really wanted to take that freaking selfie, which I did, and go back to King Gong Shrine, which I did too. So I'm very happy. So I basically walked from my guest house down to that main boulevard and from there I walked um, it's like a little wooden park about thingy I'll have to name which leads to this bigger boulevard where all the Hongi University stations are from and I walked that one way up until that old street which go up to Hongi and that building. From there I walked up again to a street that I knew which okay so yeah the the first never mind because I know what street is Jean Daddy Ro that's one of the faces of the, the building and from there I walked to Yangwari but I'm not sure from where I walked up to the shrine, I walked up the shrine, shoot the video, take pictures, walked to the freaking top of it, then rested and then gone down, then the shrine and down and then back home. And I don't know how many miles that is, but it was a freaking lot, let me tell you. And my shoes were about killing me so they already were painful so I put like um, I cut a little towel that I got at the dollar store cut it into pour it into but no 
there are still because I'm gonna kind of call them four foot of them down. It's, it's where your um, an, the back side of your ankle is pretty much but holy Christmas fucking heaven it hurts and that front is like very steep and angular and feels painful. So, what I was happy in that place is just, it's magic. You, you have to go there in, in spring, I mean, probably you have to do the sakura tree blooming to experience the full extent of how amazing that place is. So, so finished. It was absolutely glorious. I spare you the last of scraping bit because... Maxim coffee mix offered by the guest house. Pretty good. It's uh, so you have the coffee and the, the milk powder in it, and there's no sugar because Korea is having a cold war with excessive sugar, which is super good. Absolutely freaking dead tired. Oh, and I got these um mini tiny fish cakes with sweet red bean paste inside. That was at the small mobile kiosk. Um, sorry, it's wet. On one side of the poor Korea thingy. Oh, sorry again. Um, yesterday I had seen the same kiosk, but they were selling egg bread, so I was hoping to snatch some today. But yesterday when I left the guest house, it was like noon, so I'm guessing, I don't know if this, there are like different hours to serve those things. But anyway, those things were so good, the, the little fish cakes. I have a video on that, that will post eventually earlier or somewhere else. I'll see. Or you mix with this, I don't know. Um, and since I really love that shrine, I want to make it special and have at least keep maybe one or two to have it as a snack with Kim going in because, you know, all friends visit, have a snack, have coffee. Mm. So I went, had my snack, came back, and uh, I'm pretty happy actually. I could actually manage my way from the shrine to find my way to that specific small street where I saw the shiny members cut out thingy, and where from where I bought my two little teddy bear charm thingies. Oh, and this is to show you how freaking awesome no wrong word how dedicated fan i am of this band and this guy for the love of christ i could have sworn that the collab was in front of etude house which is one of the brands jong hyun is associated with because keep idols makeup all that stuff i mean that's business so the first time when I walk up the street, I'm keeping a lookout on Etude House's front and I always saw two panels advertising whatever and the little bush with the pink decoration like a Christmas tree and I'm like okay maybe they didn't pull it out yet, uh, come back later, it was around early, I don't know what, I left the guest house at 8 or 9 and I wasn't sure when the shops opened and when I came ready because it wasn't busy yet. It was 
Omdi was just awakening to life, let's say like that. Um, so yeah, if I go to the shrine, I come back, I walk specifically in front of that same etude house shop to borders, the bush, the decoration, and the and I was like, okay, fuck them. These are failed me, shiny is failing me, the world is awesome. I walk, I walk, I walk, I see the other... The, the, okay, basically on one side of that street you have beauty shops more, and on the other side you have more clothing and stuff and accessories. So I pass a skin something shop and then the same event. That's where they are. It was the same S I E M boutique which had the shiny members cut out and not a tweet house because that's how profoundly amazing, dedicated fan I am of Jung Yun. I know exactly on which storefront his images displayed of. Beyond the fact of utterly undone the shit out of him, I don't know much about... Rephrase. Beyond the fact of me adoring him, and I know which brand he's associated with, like the same that you house, Skechers, and I think he had a thing with uh, Baskin Robbins Red Velvet Cake, but I'm not sure because I didn't find it last year. So I found that cut out and I make a complete total tourist ass fool out of myself and get my selfie stick out and snap a picture or two. Which I think I got like three or four, just to be sure, you know, different angles in the zone and stuff. And I'm satisfied, I'm happy, I got my picture with Tokyo. This is so ridiculous, but. Like I care at this point. Um, so after that, I walk down the middle of the street. Oh, and I see this other little uh, mobile cart where they cook and sell, and they had the um, the egg bread. So I saw it on YouTube, but on YouTube, the the more that she had was like. Almost, you know, beige. This is more like a tiny-ish thingy. Um, so I asked the guy for two, which was basically <laughs> two dollars. And it's so good. I also filmed it. Um, and it was so cute. I, he actually spoke a bit of English, like take out and buy, because uh, since I ordered two, he first put it in the paper bag but since it was take out he put it in an extra black plastic bag to keep it warm as long as possible because i wanted to eat it at the uh, little wood walk food path park thingy bench which is the middle point between my guest house and the big boulevard um, so, and my shoes were about murdering me at this point. I don't know how the hell I could walk home, um, but I did. I'm happy. So, um, I sat down and I ate it and it was absolutely delicious. Like seriously, if you go to Seoul, buy one of those little cart thingy on kitchens on wheel and get those egg breads. They're super good. So it's like um, a little piece of bread, but they actually, and the YouTube video is actually explaining how it's made. You have the mold, you pour the cake or bread mix in it, you crack an egg in it, you put it in the oven, and it sort of bakes together, and it's, it's a meal on its own. Like I had my two eggs, and I was pretty full, but, and 
Yes, I just had a bowl of noodles because I had breakfast this morning, which was one toast with butter and strawberry jam. I had my snacks, the little fish with the red bean paste. I walked up the mountain, I walked down the mountain, I walked on this street, like up and around three or four times. The amount of energy I lost, oh, and this is ridiculous. But a pair of skinny jeans I got before I left, like literally one day before I left, which were fitting me barely, like clothes. They kept literally sliding down my ass so they the whole freaking day and I was like trying to like pull them off and pull my t-shirt down and I need to lose some weight. That's amazing. So amazing and embarrassing because I mean you know you're pulling your jeans up and these guys walk the mountain and these old ladies and they chit chat and here you are white horse girl with a bit of chubby roundness around the edges love handle here and there and you're pulling your skinny jean pants up like constantly and pulling your t-shirt down because the backpack for god knows what reason brings it up i don't know Cody mysteries. I'm, I'm not used to be a girly girl, so some shit I still need to figure out how it works. Mm. Oh, it was an amazing day. Um, so I sit down on that bench, I have my little egg bread thingy, which was so good. Oh, I love it. I think I'm gonna have to do more tomorrow. Um, yeah, I really want gang food. Gang food? Oh my god. I'm losing my English. The, the panda movie thing, which I didn't watch because I was being too big with you guys. Peeps! Yes, I think I'm gonna call you peeps. Because, guys, every freaking YouTuber use the word guys. So yeah, um, what did I want to say more? Oh yeah, I say this again, it feels like the last days before I leave basically save my vacations and bring me the most happiness and stuff. I don't know how this works, it just does. Mm. I'm not exactly used to uh, talk to a camera and this is my first YouTube experience if I release this shit hopefully not too many people will get traumatized by it and something else I wanted to say so the walk, the jeans, the getting fun the bread, the blues Tomorrow, I would like to go back to uh, King Sejong statue, maybe have a few selfies. If I can somehow get to eat ice cream with him, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, because okay, so, something you don't know about me and, nobody, and not many people know is that last year being my third year I think so third year participating in Nam of Rinu which is National Novel Writing Month and second year success and in my story my character hmm. my character is a white girl tourist like me and she has an ice cream with King Sejong and since I'm the author I thought it would be interesting to live that experience and just for the sake of, you know, having a chat with my buddy because I'm so thankful for him for a girl and coronavirus and everything. So, yeah. um, okay. um, um, oh, 
the sun for me, but you still need to be standing by the way. Oh, I need to have a moment too. Sorry, if I'm mumbling. Mm. But yeah, this is something I noticed. Like in Montreal, I'm basically the equivalent of a female troll. Like, a Lord, of, Lord of the Rings level troll, you know, those big... Those, those big fat things that want to cook the hobbits. I'm basically that. And in Seoul, I'm basically the equivalent to Arwen. Like, I'm girly, I'm dressed up, I took care of my appearance, I'm cute, and yeah. It's fascinating what the things you do for the people you give importance to. Like, I want to be cute in the eyes of the random Korean guys that I meet on the street but I couldn't care less to be cute in the eyes of the people at my office or in the metro or the train the, the train the buses that I take every day for work and stuff and yeah mm. I think I'm gonna end it here if I have more I'm gonna record later because I still have to find that one that magical application that will stitch up where are we at? Four or five videos? Plus the extra that I filmed earlier and make it one thingy for YouTube. I hope that exists actually. So yeah. Peace out.